SpaceX is working with the Department of Defense on the Starship program. And this is a huge leap for SpaceX because currently they launch Department of Defense satellites with the Falcon 9 rocket. But with Starship, that's a whole other game. It's huge. It can take tons of cargo to low Earth orbit and beyond. And the Department of Defense is greedy and they want to stick their fangs into the Starship program as deep as possible. They're frothing at the mouth of this thing because it can transport cargo anywhere in the world from point A to point B in about an hour. So any amount of tonnage that the Department of Defense needs, they can get it there within an hour. And SpaceX could provide that if the Starship is successful. Now, they've already had a few uh, test launches, IFT-1, IFT-2, and they're coming up on IFT-3 sometime in February, hopefully. And if they are successful with this, this will be a game changer for SpaceX. The Department of Defense is looking deep into SpaceX's reserves, and they know that they can count on SpaceX to make a rocket that's going to be sustainable for the near term and also the long term of the Department of Defense for the United States. So what does the Department of Defense need now? They already have the Falcon 9, right? They can transport stuff up into space, but they want to do point to point. They want to do people from point A to point B. But do they want SpaceX in charge of this? That is the key. The Department of Defense works with other contractors and they make sure that they are in charge of the rockets and not the people and the uh, the producers of the rockets. So they want to do this now with SpaceX. And there's been some insight here from uh, Irene Klotz. <clears throat> the Department of Defense has requested take over Starship for individual missions from Aviation Week Network and wrote a great article about this. Irene did a great job here. Um, um, so let's see here. Uh, sorry, uh, Brian Everstein did the article. Irene posted it. Uh, the Pentagon has approached SpaceX about potentially taking over Starship for sensitive, potentially dangerous missions as a government-owned, government-operated asset instead of contracting the company to launch payloads. So the government would control the Starship, the particular Starship, or Starships. They would launch them on their own accord. Maybe they would launch them through SpaceX. We're not sure yet. Um, but they're looking into it. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about the government being in, in control of starships? Because the starship is supposed to send people and cargo to the moon and to Mars in a peaceful way. Is it okay for the Department of Defense to get their hands on the starship and the technology behind starship? And if they can launch it themselves... Is that a good thing? Let me know in the comments because I, I have mixed emotions about this one because I think it's important to realize that SpaceX isn't just in it for the humanity benefit. You know, sending people to the moon, to Mars, beyond is great, but they already do Department of Defense stuff. They've sent up spy satellites for the Department of Defense. It's, they're up there already. So they're already in bed with the Department of Defense. Is this a game changer though? This is a different thing. What could they transport on Starship that they could not transport on a Falcon 9? And that's transporting troops and cargo across the world. So uh, the Department of Defense um, representative said, we've had conversations. It really came down to specific mission where it's a very specific and sometimes elevated risk or maybe a dangerous use case for the Department of Defense where they're asking themselves, do we need to own it as a particular asset, SpaceX? Can you accommodate that? Basically asking SpaceX, hey, can you build this starship? You know, it's kind of like when somebody builds the Department of Defense a tank. And that tank is owned by the government now. Uh, the, the builder doesn't own it anymore. The Department of Defense owns that tank. Is this what's going to happen to starships in the future? Uh, they said, we've been exploring all kinds of options to kind of deal with those questions. Um, you know, they, they move cargo. Like I was saying, like they're going to be moving cargo. They already have a, a, a Starship contract with the Department of Defense to move cargo. And eventually they'll have a contract to move people once they human rate this. And of course, we know that it's capable of carrying, uh, I think Elon said, 100 people at a time. 
So if you could get 100 troops anywhere in the world within an hour, would you do it if you're the Department of Defense? Of course you would. You'd want your own rockets to do it too. And you'd build your own starship facility where you could launch the starships, you could catch the boosters. It would be all under the watchful eye of SpaceX. They'd build it probably. They'd contract them to build the launch pads, the landing pads, um, the rockets, of course. And or at least, you know, give them the the blueprints, if you want to put it in a very broad term, to build these things, to build the launch pad, the landing pad, the, the chopsticks, the arms, the tower, everything. And once SpaceX nails this, the Department of Defense is going to be all over this. I want to know, of course, like, I want to know what you think, because I'm still, I know what SpaceX does already. I know that they do this for the Department of Defense already. Air Force already, Space Force already, and NASA, of course, because they're uh, they're a uh, you know department of the U.S. government. But is this a different thing with the government owning starships? Is this a whole? This is a huge leap. You know, you making those assets. You know, and then they go on to say, if we can buy the commercial service, that's what we're going to do. But there might be some use cases where we where. Uh, there needs to be a government-owned, government-operated vehicle. That transfer can happen on the fly. So if they can buy a commercial service, say, you know, okay, let's load up some cargo from Boca Chica Starbase, Texas, and fly it to someplace, you know, anywhere else in the world. Uh, that's not bad. You know, that's not a bad thing. Just get the the uh, military to bring down their assets, to bring down their cargo to, to Starbase, load it up on a starship, and then launch it from that. That's not a big deal. You know, they do that all the time. They do that with cargo planes, cargo helicopters, et cetera. This is a rocket though. It's a pretty big deal, it's pretty different. But if the Department of Defense could do this on their own, on their own property, how often would they do this? It's a little bit scary that they would have that power to get anywhere in the world within an hour-ish. You have to say... Uh, you know, about an hour. So Brian, you, you nailed it. Um, that's great article and it's, you know, it's short, it's, it's easy to read. Um, but I, I think we may be in trouble. I, I'm just saying like, this is, this is very powerful. This is very, very powerful. And I think we have to keep an eye on this because, uh, there's just so many things could happen with a starship that it would just, it was a game changer for everything, you know, for the cargo, uh, and the people and, you know, other assets that the government and the Department of Defense can move around. So I just want to have a discussion with you today because I thought it was pertinent. And I think the Starship, even though we have Mars on the horizon, is it possible that bad things can happen on Earth because of the Starship? And does that sway your opinion about SpaceX? Um, you know, all the other rocket companies do it. Not the same thing, but, you know, they build systems for the Department of Defense. Um, so there's there's already precedent being set. SpaceX, like I said before, takes tar cargo to space uh, for the Department of Defense. So I don't know. There's there's so many things. There's so, so many things to think about. It's in my wheelhouse, but I'm not in the Department of Defense. So I understand why they do it. I really do. I understand why they would do it. It makes tons of sense. But is it the right thing to do? I don't know. I don't know. That's where I'm kind of like, I don't know. So I want to have a discussion about this. I want you guys to talk about it because I think we need to, um, we need to, you know, make our voices heard about this stuff. I, I think it's important that we have a strong military, but I also think it's important that, you know, sometimes you do the right thing. I don't know. Let's get, but if this is a ton of money for SpaceX, does it outweigh, ugh, you know, could they, could they use this department of defense money? to build more starships, to get more cargo to Mars, to get more people to Mars. Is it worth it at the end of the day to get people to Mars by doing this, you know, by selling starships to the Department of Defense? Um, possible billions of dollar investment from the DOD um, towards SpaceX and towards Starbase. And uh, that's a lot of money when, when you are a rocket company. It's a lot of money. So yeah, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot to consider here, and I hope you hope you take this into consideration. You know when you think about SpaceX too, because 
Um, even though their aspirations are huge and monumental and they're going to get us to other planets and take cargo everywhere in the solar system, that's wonderful. But what's the trade-off? I'll leave you with that. What's the trade-off? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because not only will you get this content, but you'll get content from other creators that are in this space, uh, space flight creators that you might not know about. So hit the, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like this kind of stuff, help me out a little bit. Become a member of the channel. You get some perks. You get some cool icons and emojis and stuff when we do live chats. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's do this and uh, take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, um, I'm not done yet. I moved to the South, uh, by the way, so I could be closer to NASA and also personal reasons, uh, really good personal reasons, but the I'm closer to NASA now. So if you want me to go to any particular launch, let me know in the comments down below too. Uh, it'll be at Cape Canaveral, uh, Kennedy Space Center, you know, in Florida. So let me know about that. I'm about, I'm much closer to Starbase too. So I do have a plan to go to Starbase at some point. Uh, maybe IFT4 might be a good one. So let me know in the comments if you want me to go to a specific launch. Make it a couple months out too. <laughs> I still got to get settled in. It's it's a great time though for me. I'm I'm pretty excited right now. Life is good. All right. Take care everybody. I'll see you in the next one.